Kingdom Park. Thanks for following. Ah. Said hello, sorry for bothering you. I want to offer promotion of your channel viewing followers in oh, this no. chat box. Price is lower than any com quality is guaranteed. Best flexible and order management panel, chat panel, everything is in your hands. Number of customers. Good morning. Good morning, grasshoppers. All right, we're going to play a couple of games. I do not know what's going on with the stream. I have been wrestling with this for about 20 minutes, and I have a game to play today. So, honestly, I don't have that much time anymore. Good morning, Ron. I think you are here. I saw you come in in the middle of the uh, snafu. See how many games we can get in. I don't know if my opponent's not here, then it doesn't matter, does it? It's a little loud, obviously. Very loud. Let's see if I can fix my stream settings while I am at it. Manual slide mode. Stop when not visible. Always play. Okay, always play, how about that? Then uh, products, for chess in format. Now they come up, interesting. Tic-tac-toe, the amazing power of chess in format. Please click on the link for the product specials. May not work more than once, Asenia, where are you? I didn't waste my D4 for nothing. That's rather tragic, Asenia. That pushed me into the first place. I'm sorry, under the first page. And you really have left. You are a member of too many teams. Too bad that it automatically doesn't kick you out of the team when you uh, don't show up. Let's see, so yesterday's game, if I can recall it, Maybe I can get it in very quickly while we have a minute to spare. I was black. My opponent did play d4. Knight f6, c4, g6, threatening the Grunfeld. He likes to play f3 against everything. Very kind of him. I went with the recommended response. He gave away his pawn for some reason, took over the center, and then developed very, very strangely here with queen to d3. At this point, I already knew that he's trying to beat me, which I was quite happy with. Knight on g to e2. I'm just gonna get my pieces out faster than he can get his pieces out. Then he waited until that moment to hit me and I hit him back. He exchanged hoping for a nice even game, which he could have gotten, and he tries to beat me again. I weighed this up for a very long time until I came to the conclusion that my bishop is best placed on c7, and that I will put pressure on this pawn from d7. I did expect him to play e6 here. In any event, this is my game yesterday from the Reykjavik Open. He supports it. 
I attack his bishop and he immediately loses. I think he loses the pawn now. Bishop h6. Knight d5, and I just did this. So obviously there are some threats, but he attacks my rook. I grab a pawn, he protects his bishop. I save my rook. He gives up on the action to a certain extent. I'm about to trap his knight with a6, so he has to get out of dodge. I get a useful move in, driving him back, and then I thought for a long time before I play bishop takes e5, just to make sure that knight takes e5 wasn't better, but then my pieces are no longer coordinated. So he gains time on my bishop. I guard everything. He centralizes. I guard my only weakness that I can Bought, but except for the f6 square i can't guard that yet i will guard that later with king to f7 whoops complete my development he bothers me i protect he seems to threaten something on the f file and now i leap in to improve all of my pieces h takes g6 h takes g6 rook to d2 i decided to double he tried to double Is that true Rook to d2, rook to d4. And then he thought, he actually thought that my threat here was to c4 pawn. I guess it was. That never occurred to me. Delete. So I doubled rooks. He guards. I threaten to fork. He should play rook to e2. Instead, he plays rook to e1. And after bishop to f4, he decided that he had seen enough. All well and good. Let's go to teams. Reload. Did I get a full point by? Am I finished? Are there really four games going? The tournament round today is in 45 minutes. Cyber Alpha Piso, good morning. Hi, my man. Said I solved a 2700 puzzle on Chessel. Nice. Strong. So, what is up with my sound devices? Ah. Now I've got you back to the headphones. Sound output to the headphones. Met with Chess. Said still Iceland. Still Iceland indeed. I'm going to change my background to Toronto on my return because that will be my next destination outside the country. Toronto in April for the candidates for men's and women's. Mad Quick Chess in the house. All right. I don't know if I should go any further with this particular Rick tournament. Chess. Unfortunate. Said Mr. Traveler. Yeah, well. Rick Chess. Said it'll be Vegas Saturday. Good luck, and Andrew. Good luck. Good skill and good luck. I was talking about uh, the World Series of Poker yesterday. I was hanging out with the French Icelandic Channel Islands. Uh, groups and a, a really large French group with uh, Matthew Corniet. Uh, I didn't realize that he dropped out of the tournament at the time, but I guess someone has to. I need to close some of my windows. There we go. All right, well, I am off to the tournament site. I didn't really get in a good, a good exercise this morning, but at least I got a game in, in my event. Let's go back to this one. I will add the name. Met with Chess. Said you guys need to see Master Chess Dojo. Lots of cool pictures. Oh, yes. Met with Chess. On the socials. ZID, that is. 
I am sending up uh, a few more and I'm going to try to highlight them. It's really annoying that I can't highlight the whole story at once. All of the pictures. I wish I didn't have to add one photo at a time to the Instagram story. Said hi, all chess players. <laughs> that was round eight. Make it open. Twenty twenty four. So, in any event, quick round recap. My opponent was very predictable. He plays the same thing against the Grunfeld every time. It was only e6 or g6. Let's see how the opening book turned out this time. Basically, um, among masters, c5 is the most effective move, to be honest. e6 is the next most effective. I'm not sure what these other channels are, but there are a lot of confused players in the world. Uh, Magnus Carlsen versus Fabiano Caruana. Still following Caruana Grishuk. And my opponent went off the rails with d takes c5. d5 would be a whole nother story. And in fact, I remember a... A Nepo game. Let's see if I can find it. I believe it starts with knight, castles, and knight. This was a, one of the best theoretical games of the informant not long ago. So I was expecting something along those lines. He can also play knight to d2, but instead my opponent decided to give up the center. Instead of building a big center and establishing space, then he decides to go a little bit tactically against my queen to punish me. I don't know what he was thinking. But uh, once again, I was very lucky because he was uh, up for a trade of queens. In a sense, when he played bishop to e3, even if he retreats his queen... I probably would improve his position with queen takes and uh, do it this way. I don't know. I also considered that I might play knight check, queen takes, and queen takes. But either way, even after knight check, he could just move his king and we end up in the same position as to whether or not I play it. So he chose to take my queen and we traded. And fortunately, the bishop on this square actually set him up for a little bit of a fall because he could have just played rook to d1 here. Or even bishop e4. Anything other than what he played. Rook to d1, ironically, we decided was the best move. But he chose the castle queen side and the evaluation drops upon. After bishop to h6, almost impossible. I did expect e6. Actually, I forgot about that. Needless to say, he goes for this. I play e6. He should play knight f6 check. That's exactly what I was expecting. However, his knight gets trapped, and now he's losing the whole world after I save my rook. I'm threatening knight. I'm threatening a6, trapping his knight. So he has to scooch a6, and he should really trade more pieces. I think not. That's so bizarre. Knight a7, knight takes e5. I guess he doesn't have a dark squared bishop, and I no longer have any back rank mate problems. So I basically just consolidate here. h4 was the best move. I did consider f5, however, I just wanted to complete my development. h5, king to g7 is here. h takes g6 could have been played right away. I did expect knight to g5. His move was very strange. He chose rook to d2, and I get to double. I did consider trading right away, but I thought I would improve this rook, my worst placed piece. And once I did improve my worst placed piece, I eyeballed the e3 square. And he chose the wrong way, and now he decided that he'd seen enough. Because the only move, unfortunately, is... He's very close to losing a piece here. Completely losing a piece. After knight e3 check, bishop takes. He's down a full rook and two pawns. In any event, everyone. Namaste. Yes. 
on the socials, as Matt Quick said. You may find this. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you just come in. And I must rush off to the tournament site as it is 10.21. And the closing ceremony is this afternoon at 5 o'clock. I am not going to promise to stream live IRL the last segment at all, at all. Not going to promise anything, because if I don't do it, I will feel terrible. Worst thing. Why is the volume on at all here? Tennessee is streaming. Let's do it. Anyone else? I would love to raid one of the players like Dina, Bell and Kaya, or whomever who are at the tournament, but I don't seem to see them. All right, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Namaste. Please check out the Discord, the YouTube channel. And all the above. Returning Ma 3, thank you for the advertisement early on. You had me reboot my uh, stuff. Crazy. In any event, thanks everyone. Cheers and ciao. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Mad Quick, thank you for stopping by. Andrew, I'll talk to you soon. Good luck in Vegas.